Okay, I had a fantastic like book inspired weekend and I'm looking forward to probably making a couple of videos, maybe even today. But today, I wanna take a minute to start off with to talk to you about this book right here, John Green's The Anthropocene Reviewed. I finished this on Friday. It is amazing. And I say I finished it. I'm actually, I finished it and I'm still reading it. And I'll explain what that means in a minute. But so John Green, literary giant, you know, one of my favorite young adult authors of all time. Paper Towns is one of my all time favorite books. Some of my favorite quotes are by uh, John Green from different books. I adore John Green. This is his first work of nonfiction, and it actually started as a podcast. Um, part of the idea is that we're, we live in a day and age where everything is so reviewed, right? Amazon reviews and Yelp reviews and all that kind of stuff that he thought, wouldn't it be interesting if people just like reviewed like regular everyday things? Um, Anthropocene re refers to like our current time period, right? Like we have like the Jurassic period and all that kind of stuff. Um, if I knew more about science, I'd try to pretend like I knew other term time periods, but I don't. Um, so the Anthropocene is like our current age. And so in this book, basically, he writes short essays and reviews things. Like at the end, there's a five-star review, you know, on a scale of one to five-star uh, review of these things. He has also said that this is probably the closest he'll ever get to doing an autobiography. So in a lot of ways, this is kind of a personal book where he's talking about his own life. Uh, and that's a very, very powerful thing. So just to give you an idea of some of the things that he talks about... Well, for one thing, this art on the inside, um, on the, the inside of the cover, um, it is actually one of the things he reviews. Uh, not the specific art that he drew, but that style of art, which is, I'm trying to get to the, the table of contents here. It is uh, Hiroyuki's, Hiroyuki Doi's circle drawings, and I'm probably mis mispronounced that name. But here's some of the things that he reviews in this uh, book. Uh, scratch and Sniff Stickers, Diet Dr. Pepper, Velociraptors, Canada Geese. Um, uh, at one point, he reviews uh, the Nathan's Famous Hot Dog Eating Competition. The one about Piggly Wiggly was really interesting. It showed kind of how Piggly Wiggly changed the way we do grocery shopping. Um, he does the song Old Lang Syne. He does Viral Meningitis, which is, you know, you, you could sort of assume you know where that review is going, like on the one to five scale. Talks about sycamore trees, his favorite band, the, band, the Mountain Goats. Um, it is a beautiful book. And, uh, you know, I, so another example of this, I love Neil Gaiman. I've read a lot of Neil Gaiman's books. But Neil Gaiman's series of es uh, essays called uh, from the, che the View from the Cheap Seats, I think it's called, is kind of like this, where they're just some of the most beautiful thoughts that are, to me, kind of life-changing. I highly recommend J R John Green's The Anthropocene Reviewed on a scale of one to five. I would give this book a five, and I think that you need to pick it up. 